<laughs> I won't jump on it. I'll just. No. You know, I've lost weight. <laughs> I love Dude, that car is fragile. You hear this? You guys, comment down below and tell me right now if I deserve to sit on that thing. You're gonna bend my trunk. I'm bend you. Throw that grape in my mouth. If I catch it, I get to sit on your trunk. Yeah, one try. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> so now that we have our own body shop, one of the really cool things that we do a lot for Tesla especially is changing the color of the brake caliper. So we do any color. This is not spray paint or anything. This is actual automotive paint. So it's really high quality and you get that really nice clean gloss shine which is awesome. You keep the Tesla lettering too which is really nice. And the best part is it's not something that you can peel up. It's actually embedded in the paint. You can change the colors. We do white just because it pops better with the red. You see how it just kind of pops through a little bit? It's really cool. <laughs> This is the main thing why I like it. Okay, show me. Whoa, you one handed that thing. Dude, this bitch is light. Feel this. I swear to God, Heywood, this bitch is light, bro. I mean, yeah, it's kind of light. No, you're weak as f. It's light as balls, bro. It hurts my fingers. Oh, it's so nice and soft. Damn, look at the cutouts. This is a nice wheel. Yeah, see how it uh, sticks out more? Oh. Uh, design? I mean, it is what you it like is. You like that? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> He's like, no. No. <laughs> Reverse concave? No. I think it's cool though. I think it's dope. Since it has this, it's like more sport type shit. I mean, if it requires that to make it fit, then I guess it is what it is. The rears are nice, obviously. I like the cutouts around the spokes. That's why it's so light. Dude, that looks good. That's gonna That's look a good. yes. Eighteen pounds for a set of twenty-inch wheels. That's insane. BBS really knows how to make lightweight, strong forged wheels, and it shows with this. I mean, look at all these cutouts all around the spokes. R and D that went into these wheels. Highly, highly precise, and they're obviously masters at what they do. Tesla Model Y. Ooh, we're doing stripes down the hood yeah. to the bumper. Going for the BMW look on Tesla. Are you doing the back too, or no? Yeah, we are. Oh. oh wow, that's cool. It's not too often we do stripes on a Tesla, so the fact that we're doing stripes is pretty cool. And it's a design that we haven't done on Tesla yet either, so even better. It's not a design that a Tesla person would say would choose. You know? Yeah, so what's your point, Sean? I don't understand what you're trying to say. I, uh, what I'm trying to say, Haywood, I'm pretty sure you're going to be like, oh my god, but this person's definitely a BMW person before this. Definitely had a 3 Series or a 5 Series. I'm calling it right now. Or maybe they just no, saw no, a no, paper. No, no, no. Maybe they just... No, no. We actually did this color on a full Tesla wrap, so it's kind of funny that we're now doing it as an accent color. It's not funny, Haywood. It's cool. Capture this, capture this right here. Okay. It's magic, magic. Ready? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I promise you. When have I ever told you something that's not good? Don't Same. answer that question. <laughs> Glass, baby! You got I, it? I got it, Sean. Cool. I got good. it. Good. Need it. This is a really cool vinyl wrap strap design. I really like this. It's clean, it's simple, nothing crazy, but the fact that it's offset gives it a little bit more of an edge to it, so I really like that. Just like our usual wrap projects, even something as simple as this, we cut no corners whatsoever. We've wrapped underneath the trunk and the front bumper just to keep with that seamless look. It's all about the details, you know? And it's back in, guys. Of course it is. It always will be. Daddy's little monster. Why'd you say it like that? Take two? Yeah. And it's back in, guys. Of course it is. It always will be. Daddy's little monster. Why'd you give it an accent? Take three. And it's back in, guys. Of course it is. It always will be. Daddy's little monster. Oh, I still do it with an accent. And it's back in, guys. Of course it is. It always will be. Daddy's little monster. Who is that? 
And it's back in, guys. Of course it is. It always will be. That is a little monster. <laughs> That's not as creepy as Sean, what are we doing? Why is it here? We are going to switch the tires. Oh, because we're sponsored. Because we are sponsored. You're right. This is what it feels like to be sponsored by Toyo Tires. You get a bag of pens, some pamphlets, Toyo stickers, and a Toyo flag. Hot in for nights, wet fest, eat, sleep, car me. You better watch out. We're coming for you. <laughs> that is nice. Look at that. Dude. It's official, baby! We're gonna take all the JDM awards this year, man. What the fuck was that? <laughs> so the main reason why we have the RX-7 in is because we're actually offering now track preparation. So that means with our new alignment, we can drop your 10 second car down to a six second car. That's right, from alignment specifically. Ah, there's so many little things. So Sean, what's the difference between a street alignment and a track alignment? So this is the exact same as that machine right there. So this, it's, mechanical. it's just it's just a very mechanical, this can never be wrong. And I assume they use this at the track because it's- They use it at the track because it's quick, it's and easy, can... and you don't have to bring a whole damn machine with you in a four post lift and <laughs> make these fine adjustments on the spot. Really nice. We're gonna be wrapping a string around one of these grooves and we'll run all the way to the front. So we'll know exactly how much is moving front and back. Okay guys, so we have a cool little string. Boing. Runs all the way to the back. So as long as this string is straight and it's in the center of this wheel hub, then we are good. The distance between this string in here and here and here gives you toe. The distance of the string um, compared to both sides from the back tire in this gap to this will tell you your caster. Guys, this is pretty neat. This is the first smart car we've ever got in. This thing is tiny. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna be doing some vinyl work on this. We're gonna be wrapping this to a liquid copper color. Sean, you should buy this car. You see those? See what? The wheels are in the stock. What is that? This smart car logo. No, 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 read it, read it, look for it. Let's say Bravis. Let's <laughs> say, say Bravis. Bro, these are the limited edition Bravis smart car wheels. Lit. What a surprise, guys. I <laughs> dude, I was looking at the smart car, I was like, dude, something doesn't look right. And then I looked, I was like, dude, these wheels have to be aftermarket. Liquid copper. What it's called. It's called. That's a copper. It's like a GTR color. It is like a GTR color. Right? It uses this to push his race car. I told you. To push? This, that's all of this car's purpose. What do you mean? To, to push, push it and drive around. What do you mean it pushes a race car? Because thing they don't have to it. heat up the engine. If you're about to race and you're in the lineup, they push it up till you get to the lineup. But how do they push the car without damaging the car? They just bump it to I'm assuming something, something, it's I'm assuming it's ta something attaches that, up in this that's area. Why, that's why it's open. Yeah. Like yeah. Alright, Ted, let's do this thing. Huh? I don't know why over here again. Nobody can know this, bro. We I had to know. show something. Something. Sean. Insert Call of Duty clip here. <laughs> oh, I'll insert something else here. I hope I can find love like these two one day. Okay, that's awkward. We're just, we're just gonna cut that one out, alright? That was just weird. Sean, are you watching a race while you're rapping right now? Working on a race car, you gotta watch race car. That's how this car treats you good. Surprisingly, this is not the smallest car we've wrapped. This orange is insane. It looks like that GTR orange that Nissan came out with a while ago. From what I understand, the race car has the same orange on it, so this is gonna match really well with this since it is gonna be pushing that on the track. But even though it's not gonna be the star of the show on the racetrack, it's still important for us to make sure we do incredible wrap jobs. So we one piece anything that we could and we hit any seams. So overall, really happy with how this came out. All right guys, that's it for the vlog. We accomplished quite a bit today. Wrapped a few cars, got to the new shop, a lot of cool things. But if you want us to work in your car, or especially if you want Dustin to work in your car, hit us up. Our contact info is in the description down below. We will see you next time.